Previously on Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, we head off to Ikebukuro at Hijiri's instruction to investigate rumors of Gozu Tenno's resurrection. It turns out that Chiaki has decided to take on the spirit of Gozu Tenno and has transformed the mantra headquarters to the stronghold of Yasuga. Reporting back to Hijiri was apparently unnecessary as he claimed to have mastered Amala while slowly going insane from power. Just then, he is sucked into the Amala network by Isamu who had some plans of his own. We jump in to rescue Hijiri, but instead we are led to the Amala temple and are forced to do some errands for Isamu in hopes of reaching Hijiri before it's too late. Alright, so we are in the right place. Uh, temple now, like the one directly, the black temple so, temples over there. This is the one directly across it. Um, so here is my new team. It's MC Suparna, <laughs> Titania, and Titan. Kind of OP. Kind of, it's kind of a big leap forward. Um, I'm also level fifty-seven now, and frankly, it took that many levels. To get that much cash to start buying the demons needed to fuse. Because I was doing a lot. A lot of fusion experimentation. But I, I eventually settled on these guys. Uh, support the Tita Titania and Titan. The problem is... Titania is going to learn her heal skill in the next level. So I don't actually have a heal skill right now. She's gonna level in 18,000 EXP, but that's what? At least 18 more fights. At most, like 36 more. And, well, let's hope I can survive not having heals. Who are. Ow, oh, they retaliate! Oh no. Weak to ice? Yes. <laughs> okay, so. Well, not weak, but, you know, they, they weren't that strong to begin with. So, I'm guessing each area would have a similar layout, just a different gimmick. It seems like this is the red. You know, can I actually get one of you? Hang on, let's try. One, two. Oh, not dead. Guillotine. Crit. That sucks. Guillotine. All right. Also, skill-wise, I still have everything, like, everything isn't as packed into one character anymore because you can't, you know, you can't bring everything. But in general, are you asking me up? Let, now let me see, give me 1,030 maka. So, in, in general, right, I still have, uh, oh, it's Yaxini, I see. I still have everything, like, the team still works the same. I still have a sub healer, I still have a sub debuffer, sub buffer, except that my sub healer is now just Medea because this guy got uh, fused from Onkot and he only had Medea. So I guess it's a side grade because our sub healer before was Nagaraja and he only had Diorama which was only single target. Um, so you know, give and take, you can't have everything basically. This stun, and maybe, maybe a life stone. You never know what happens in here. So, okay. So I'll, I'll do what I did the last time. I'll just go around the, the place, see if anything changes. But yeah, I doubt anything will. So see you guys in a bit. All right. So I'm in this room, and there's this white thing in the middle. It's it's also one way doors. So. I don't know what this is. It probably has something to do with a puzzle, but you can't do anything with it yet. So I guess we have no choice but to go straight down center. I mean, at least that keeps things simple, right? Uh, left and right door. Okay, left door first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this place is a bit bigger than I, I was bargaining for. Uh, okay. I wasn't recording, but hands came out of the floor, and it turned the entire area into this. It, it actually became a temple of blood. 
I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But, you know, if you have Liftoma, it's fine, right? Okay, this! Okay, so that's what these are for. They purify the ground. Okay. So, is, is that... Are the demon hands always in fixed places? I wonder. Here it is, here it is. I, I have it on camera. See? Oh my god. Okay. So I don't think we have a choice. This area can turn you can turn it into the blood area and this area. Well, you can't see my mouse, damn it. This area and uh near the door going up on the right can also turn it into this area. But I don't know what that means. I'll try to uh, push forward without cleansing it for now. Because I don't really know. I mean, if it's if it's just... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this room? Hallway. But if it's just a bunch of... You know, liftoma ball... Liftoma ball? Liftoma ball hallways and... You know, it's, it's, it's no big deal, really. <laughs> I mean, sure it's a threat, but it's a threat solved by- Ow. It's a threat solved by literally 10 MP. I'm so glad you, he only gets one press turn from that, even though he hits me twice. Uh, <laughs> I really need to get out of this, um, this particular Magatama, but I want to get its last skill, so I'm staying on it for a bit. Okay, so... It seems that it's no big deal, right? Well, what do the ghosts have to say? Have you been dragged into the world of shadows? Awful, ain't it? Hey, where am I? It hurts, ow! Let me out of the world of shadows, it's full of traps, it hurts, god damn it! What, you got it too? Yes. I see, then look for the light. I mean... Okay, bruh, whatever you say. Uh, so what's on the right side then? Alright, so... Um, I've cleared the map. Um, the only thing you need to really remember about this red temple, at least for the first floor, is uh, be mindful of how the doors are positioned. Because all of the doors here are one-way doors unless you see the white square on both sides of the wall. <laughs> Basically, that's how it works. And there's also a um, special uh, Kagatsuchi chest up here. A mystical chest. It has agility incense, so that might be interesting for anyone uh, going for this temple. Um, so let's check the second floor now. I'm not sure... Oh! I see. So to get to the second floor, uh, we should be in the not corrupted uh, state. I see, I see. Um, okay, I'll just tell you guys the path I find out when I find out how to do it. Alright, so I got here without uh, triggering the uh, corruption thing. So I'll just try to put arrows on the map to guide you guys. Um, you come up from the entrance straight up into the center hall and then go left through the door uh first door on, on the left then you go straight up all the way to the door on the top left and then you go to the second to the last door in the long hallway with the five doors um then you just go straight down and then into the elevator i uh, i wouldn't risk going left and right because you might get corrupted. Anyway, here we go. Uh, I think this is going to be floor two. Yes, red temple floor two. And this is probably a save point and the boss, right? Oh no, there's no save point yet. That's odd. I thought I passed by here already. I dodged all the shadows too, so how come I can't make it upstairs? Okay, well... Round two, I guess. <laughs> Okay, this one was a doozy. Um, I, I really wish I was better at After Effects and the such so I can make better arrows. But, um, okay, how do we do this? You So you come out of the elevator, right? And you're in the central, uh, in, in the central room. You go west, 
uh, to the room above the save point. Then north. Get corrupted in this room. It's fine. North again. And then east. East twice all the way to the upper right room. Then you go down and then left. In this uh, east central hallway, there is a light. And then you just make another... Then you just go back up. North. Yeah, you just go back north, east, then south. Then you take the right door. And then the left door. And then the middle door going west. Then you just try to avoid uh, going in front of the uh, central door. Uh... On the right and you should be fine I hope that makes sense and I hope I do the arrows properly so that you you guys can understand anyway this is probably the last floor and I'm going to assume this is gonna be a boss area yes it is you can sense a strong power emanating from the room is it another face it's another face isn't it? oh, no it's not it's not My, quite handsome. You managed to navigate your way through my shadows. You know, I've always known Scotty to be ice, so this is kind of weird for me, but whatever. I'm tired of Magatsuhi. I'll quench my thirst with your blood, so come here. <gasps> Yourself. Okay, so unless... I don't know. <laughs> Just do what we always do. I mean, nothing ever really... If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Oh, but I guess this is also gonna be a trial by fire for my new team, so... You look like a magic type. Do you take kindly to fire? Oh, you're fine with fire. I mean, you're not weak to it. War cry. What do you do? Makahamon. Oh, it's a confused skill. Punch? Okay, absorb physical. Physical attack increase and Tarokaja. More more physical attack increase. Okay, okay. Uh well. Uh <laughs> this, this is awkward. This is what I get for not researching my uh my fights, but you know. It's all good, it's all good. Where's the fun in knowing what's gonna happen? Zandine! 179 we don't have any magic buffing skills unfortunately also since he's gonna he's upping physical attack so obviously he's gonna use physical oh no titan also lost uh what's his name barrett's uh fire skill so titan is kind of meh <laughs> right now so we only have two active members, Titiana and S Suparna. And I guess you, you can Tornado, but it's not gonna do much. Yeah, just 111. It's fine, it's fine. Zandine! Uh, Agidine or Glacial? This is this is multiple hits, so let's see if this... Yeah, it, this, it, it deals more because it has more hits. That's just it. Um, Rakunda. Yeah, oh no, I mean Rakukaja, I mean. Mazandine. Okay, you also have magic, interestingly. Uh, but, I don't know. It, it's just gonna be another slow fight, basically. <laughs> Zandine. I mean, whatever, right? I mean, you, you can't... If you could physical the entire uh, game, then what's where's the fun in that? Um, I'm actually kind of glad... I, this is why I can't remove units with magic in them. Because if, if I could totally remove my magic unit, it, I'm gonna be screwed over if whenever I run into the fights like these. My MP is looking pretty bad. I really wish it hit more than once. Oops. Well, that's a mistake. Dekunda. All Unda effects. The Kaja. 
all the Kaja effects. But we haven't really been <laughs> Kajaing it up, so it's fine by me. Uh, wait. I guess that was Fog Breath, though, so we can Fog Breath again. And Titiana can con continue the Glacial Blast. Seems to be our highest dealing damage skill right now. Tarukaja, physical attack increased. Okay. Uh, yeah, keep keep feeding the chakra drops. It's I I, I don't want to stall out randomly. I don't want to waste turns. Uh, Zendine. And another glacial blast. I'm so happy this doesn't really cost that much uh, MP. You know, I'll counter Dikaja you. How do you feel about that? That actually hurt. Defense increased. That actually, actually hurt. Hmm. Bead chain? <laughs> A bit early, don't you think? Oh, whatever. I have five of them. And continue. I hope she's about dead. I don't want to waste too many resources on this fight. War cry. Imagine if I didn't war cry that earthquake. I, I I'd be dead right now because everyone would have lost their lives because of too much damage. Uh huh huh. Doctor job. I'm so glad it's percent too. It's like it's not flat. So you always get more mileage the more magic. Uh, I mean, the, I mean the, the more MP your team has. Yeah, Rokukaja. This should be about done, right? This person isn't a full-fledged boss. It's only a sub-boss. So I, I I don't expect this to last very long. Like, I, I don't expect... Soma Droplet, please. I don't expect... It to be a fully fledged fight that takes forever. Then again, you know, just because it's a sub boss doesn't always mean it's weak. Oh, she's dead. What a shame. Yeah, see, it, it wasn't that bad. It was okay. Titan leveled up and Suparna leveled up. Now I just need Titania. Suparna leveled up. Mazandine. That, that's what I was waiting for. Parna wants to talk to me. Okay. Allow me to present these to you. I hope it will aid you in your quest. You received a Soma Droplet. Yes, it does. Oh, so Parna can Digivolve. I see, I see. Good, good, good. I mean, I hope it's good. I don't want to lose skills because of Digivolution. Sometimes that happens. And it's actually kind of disappointing. I should check that out. We're at one pyramid left. You can hear Isamu's voice. Alright, keep it up. I'll just kick back. Grr. This is your reason. Why are you having me do it? And since we actually cleared this place, we can actually use this. All right, so I just need to level Titania, which is probably going to happen in the next fight. And we'll actually have our healing skills back. But for now, life stones will do. I have 50. I, I, I totally didn't notice I had more than 50 of them. Okay, so Titania has her healing skill. And it's this. Full HP recovery for the party. No ifs and buts. It's straight up full heal. And this, I actually let her level, uh, I mean, I let her change a skill, because I was like, what's the worst that could happen, right? And she leveled up Agidine to Maragidine, so overall wins everywhere, uh, except for our MP. Our MP is not winning. <laughs> the shocker drop on everyone. Anyway, so I wonder what the gimmick of the White Temple is. Once again, I'm not entering the center door immediately because the center door is usually just a trap. Oh, please. Oh my god, I thought so. 
thought so. You can see through the enemy. It's probably immune to physical, right? Right. Okay. So what's the deal? Oh no. Teleportation. <laughs> Okay. Uh, be that as it may. <laughs> All right. So th I uh, this is no fun watching. I'll just let you guys know when I'm through. <laughs> What's in here first? Lifestone too. Okay. All right. So after not much suffering, I'm actually up here now. Um, I'll just explain how I got here after I actually finished the map. So that I don't I don't say redundant things. You'll find out soon enough which reason is the greatest. There's plenty of Magatsuhi here. It's only a matter of time before Musubi is unleashed upon the world. Shijima and Yosuga are still hunting around for Magatsuhi, aren't they? Actually, so am I. That's why I'm here, searching my ass off. Okay. This looks like a trap. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna run around until I get this chest. Alright, let's see what's in here. Soma! Yeah, uh... Ah, uh, it's okay. I was counting up anyway. Yes, I knew it. So it's gonna teleport me out. To this room, I see. Uh... Let's try left, just so that I can solve my OCD and actually fill this square. Okay, so left sends us up here. Is there anything over here? I hate I hate this game. <laughs> it literally forces you to check left and right. You know? Oh my god, it's a battle. I thought I thought it was teleported out. No thank you. I can I can beat this guy those guys easily, but no thank you. Cash cube was a fight. I don't think I can run from this one. Ew. We are Legion, literally. Alright, so I think we're here. I don't think it's gonna teleport me anywhere now. Right? Right? Okay. So... Um... There's a lot of treasure on this floor, so getting lost here isn't exactly the worst thing in the world. It's just that most of the enemies are immune to physical, so it might be a bit of a problem. But okay, here's how we do it. You head over to the upper left room. I'm, I, I, once again, I'll just be putting arrows around, uh, try to follow, because I, you know, this game doesn't, isn't recording my mouse along with the game, so whatever. So you go to the upper left room, it's gonna teleport you down here to the middle lower left. Um, the correct room to run into is straight up. So when you run straight up, you're teleported to the upper left room go out of that room you will be teleported to the lower right middle room okay following me so far and when you get to the lower right middle room you just go to the room right next to it and it will teleport you here all right i'm not gonna bother um looking at these two extra rooms here might be treasure, might be more annoying teleportation, but whatever. I'm here, right? So, you know, let's just move forward. Let's just move on. Obviously, right? <laughs> games, the game's not that kind, you know? Well, you think you're gonna run straight to the elevator? Hell no! Um, all right. Okay, so this is a teleport. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this run for like I don't know. Uh, let's give it three minutes, just to see how much trial and error it takes to uh, get get it basically. And I'm not fighting you guys. Not not on my <laughs> not on my gravestone. See, then it's gonna bait you with treasure at the end of the hallway. But you know you can't get the treasure because there's gonna be a teleporter right before you get it. So it doesn't matter really. Okay, so you went left, left and up. Uh, it doesn't work. Go straight up. Where's this gonna teleport us? 
back to the start. So definitely not that. <laughs> you see? And it's only been one minute. So now I have to go run back. Imagine if I didn't have a stoma. Imagine if I didn't have a stoma. I'd be running into fights every single door. Nothing. So left. Oh, that is annoying. Oh my god. If you ever wanted to play a game that hated its player, this is it. This is 100% it. This game just hates you. It hates you. You want this treasure? Nah, it teleported away, bruh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I hope you guys were watching. That's how to get into this room. I'm not explaining myself again. Let me run around in here. Am I counting up? Am I? Bro. Yeah, okay. I'm counting up. Okay, be right back. All right. So what's in here? Chakra pot. Not bad. Okay, so that's a problem, right? You, when you get into a room you, you were teleported out of, usually the reverse teleports you somewhere else, but... At least this time it didn't, so I can just do it again and pick a different room, right? I went here the last time. Yeah, let, let's see if uh, up changes. Uh, I mean, if up is the correct answer. Probably not. Well, let's see. Where does this lead? It's the correct answer! Okay. Um, I actually got all of that on camera, but... Oh god, how, how did it work again? Alright, so this is how to get out of White Temple second floor. You go from the elevator and run straight to the center, and then you will be teleported to the upper left quadrant on the lower right square. Uh, the correct path is left and then up. And that will teleport you to the uh, lower rightmost square of the lower right uh, quadrant. The correct solution is up and then left. You are teleported towards the lower left quadrant and then you go right. So you are teleported to the upper right quadrant in the lower right room in, the, in that quadrant and the solution will be up and then left again. Uh, once you get to that room you will be teleported right in front of the elevator so uh that should be it well i actually caught it on camera this time so if you if you want an example um maybe you can just rewatch the footage you can sense a strong power okay that's both cool and extremely lazy <laughs> it's like let's make a blob make it white also, club. <gasps> Boom! This is the shrine of eat. All I can eat. Bother me and you'll be all I can beat. Boom! Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, bruh. Conjuration. What does that do? One, two, three, four. Oh. Line up the fleet. Time for some heat. Hmm. That's gonna be a problem. I hope they're not immune to physical. <laughs> uh huh. One more. Uh, let's get it down early. Because I can see four different elements, and that might be a problem. I don't see ice, though. Yep, no ice. Stasis Blade, nice dodge. Attack. Okay, so they're just attacking for now. For now. <laughs> you never know what they're gonna do. Can I just attack the, the big boy, like, immediately? Is that something I can do? Sukukaja, please. Etiana can... Marigidine, Maragidine. Okay, it's the uh, fire is the weakness of the guy on the left. Nice dodge. 
Nice dodge. Nice dodge. <laughs> Uh, Iron Claw. Yeah, we can. Just grok. <laughs> uh, Suku Kai. Actually, no War Cry. They seem to be hitting us more than I anticipated, so I might as well make them hit for less. Oh no, I don't have MP for this. Uh, awkward. Titan's next, right? Yeah. Titania's gonna die, isn't she? She probably will. Mm. Yeah. My bad, my bad. That was my, that was a misplay by me. Or I get a press turn and save my own life. <laughs> I should have used a chakra droplet. Bufudine. Fluff. Dodge. But I, I'm not sure if she was even weak to ice, but, you know, whatever. Focus? Yep. Suparna. Uh... Tarukaja. I want, I want, I want big numbers, guys. I want big numbers. Tarukaja. <laughs> Titan and Rakunda. Let's see if we can one shot the guy in the center. Hades Blast. Crit for 81. Dodge and then dodge? Oh, then dodge. Whoosh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Even Titania is critting for 600. What's going on? Normal attacks are dealing 400 damage. Oh boy. Absolute sheesh moment. What's a sheesh moment? Okay, Sukukash. I don't know why I'm still buffing. Let's just destroy them. Oh, we can eat. Oh, are they gonna... Oh, they're gonna... Okay, okay, I see. I see. But isn't Samur Karm supposed to kill you? Oh, whatever. I think I hit myself with that. For some reason. Okay, so I knew it. It, it, it was too easy, right? It was actually too easy. But then since he revived, now I actually have to Fog Breath again. Yeah. <laughs> and... Oh, you still have the buffs, right? So you can start attacking. It's fine. Since, um... Titiana can already have... Yeah. We're, we're, we're clear. Ish. Uh, guillotine. See how much damage this does. 870 and a crit. Decent, decent. Focus. Attack. It's gonna miss. Yep. Gonna miss. This game is kinda kinda extremely broken. Both for your side and the enemy side. When the enemy is broken, they're <laughs> actually broken. But when you're broken, you're just as equally broken, you know? Wait a minute. We just established your week to win, right? Boom. 432. Oops, well, whatever. Normal attack. 384, normal attack. 561, okay. Now we can kill you. We're actually not full up on Tarukaja. Yep. Boom! Conjuration. Oh! Okay! Time for repeat. Okay. Okay! Good! I wanted the challenge, so we need to eliminate both him and his dudes at the same time. So let's focus down the, the dudes one at a time. Bonk. Let, let's get. Let's go for right to left, and then we try to. Um, 
We iron claw one guy. Like we iron claw the big guy at the same time as uh Agil the the Aguilao skill on this guy. Sounds like a plan actually. Okay, focus. Let's let's do this. Let's finish this off now. Urizen. Isn't that the guy from DMC5? <laughs> 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 like, the, like the first boss who turns out to be the other guy you know who I, you know who I'm talking about Mabufu dying nice MC dodged uh, another focus please so Parna's out of MP but it's 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 fine we don't need him on MP Tiana attack Stasis Blade, please miss, yes. Getting hit by Stasis Blade is actually extremely painful. Uh, attack this guy. He's probably dead. Okay. Uh, since you have the most HP, let's lower you a bit. Uh, no, we, we won't get back to MC in time. Okay. I think we're safe. Please don't die. Okay, you didn't die. Good. <laughs> Why is Tatiana always getting hit by this? Focus. And... Just in case he doesn't die, let's lower his HP a bit. Yeah, let's lower his HP a bit. Don't die. Good. All right, I think we're ready. I hope. Die. Okay. Die. Not dying. Okay. Mariga dying. Maragi dying. Dead. Good. See, that for me is a. It's a tough fight, but it was a fair tough fight. You know, I didn't feel cheated the whole time. Like, sure, he, he, there were multiple magical resistances. Sure, he had four lackeys and he was resurrected. That's the kind of unfair that doesn't feel unfair. Like, okay, that's a boss mechanic. But some of the mobs are just so much more obnoxious than the bosses. I don't know what they were thinking. You can hear Isamu's voice. Nice work. Looks like all the seals are broken. Now that that's dealt with, you can revel in the moment my reason is born. But first, you should head outside. Sure. I really hope this doesn't give me Isamu's ending. I really hope I didn't misunderstand and, you know, completing this apparently gives you his ending, you know, I hope that doesn't happen. Then again, I have a bunch of saves in the past, so if it does, then let's just say I got an ending and <laughs> continued onwards onto a different path, I guess. I'd expect m more of a thud, honestly. Come on in. The show is about to start. All right, let's get out of here. Whoa. That is funky. What what's our team state? No MP is our team state. There. That that should tide us over for a bit. Uh just in case we get into a fight heading over here. Well, so what what do we do? Oh, we examine it. Will you enter the central temple? Yes, let's enter it for now, but uh, we're almost at our time limit, so... Yeah. Quit complaining. You won't have to hang in there much longer. Oh, yeah, I thought so. He was being used as a sacrifice. You can get all the rest you want when this is done. 
Your plan is to take me out by caressing me with Magatsuhi? I say we just get this over with. Never liked this place much anyway. When did Hijiri get such an attitude? What the hell? Like for the longest time he was this f friendly helper guy and suddenly I will make the are my own reason. I must create the world. And now he's so sassy. Like what happened? Well, what can I say? People like you were made to be stepping stones. And yeah, it's a cruel job, but somebody's gotta do it. Thanks for going to all that trouble. The Magatsuhi, those powerful demons we're hoarding, is now mine. It's enough to bring Rosubi into being. What are you doing? He just told you what he's doing. Game. I don't agree. Stop this. Are you oblivious or just plain dumb? <laughs> I didn't know you were such a saint. Listen, this guy is not at all who you think he is. I mean, he was the writer of an occult magazine, so I'm pretty sure he knows more than he's letting on. That, that, that much I'm sure of. This whole sacrifice idea wasn't even mine. It was his. See, he was planning to use this Magatsuri all along. And it would have been you or me hanging up there. Yeah, I came up with the plan. That doesn't mean I would have carried it out. By the way, you were going crazy a while ago. I'm pretty sure you would have. Oh, I'm sure you would have. Yeah. Okay, on this one, I agree on Isamu. One life doesn't amount to much. Didn't you say something along those lines? It doesn't matter what I say now, does it? It'll just sound like an excuse to you. Most things that are worthwhile require some sort of sacrifice. I've made many sacrifices in my lifetime. So go ahead, do whatever it is you're gonna do. Just remember, you'll pay a high price for following that path. Don't worry. Like you said, it's my decision. I'm the one in charge here. I don't even get, like, what is Isamu's power level? He j did he just absorb a bunch of spirits? Pay close attention. So he's like, so if Sakahagi is the power of a thousand mannequins, this guy is like a power of a thousand specters. I'm guessing that's the. Um, analogy, and then Chiaki's just goes to Tenno. <laughs> this is what happens when you cross the true master of the Mala. Okay, time to rest in peace. Any last words before I dunk your ass? That's so 2003. <laughs> Do your worst, kid. Ooh, sassy. PS2. <laughs> oh no, it's not. There, there's no. There's no bars. Is he actually dead? Can't believe it. Perfect. With this much Magatsuhi, there shouldn't be any problem. There's always My a problem. God will soon emerge from the infinite space beyond the Amala network. He is outside the flow of time, a being without a name. Watch him have a name when he pops out. The god of absolute solitude. I guess it might be inconvenient for him to remain nameless, huh? I, I thought so. Let's see, a drifting god. How about Noah? Come forth, Noah. Okay. Ooh, floaty. <laughs> what are you? The weak point? <laughs> Hit Isamu to bring down the boss. I don't know. In any other game, 
you know, like like in the House of the Dead light gun shooter. There's my target. You can hear Isamu's voice. What do you think of my god? Awesome, right? <laughs> Looks pretty transparent to me. The world in the Sumi will soon arrive. No longer will people interfere with each other's lives. Everyone can finally be content. Okay. That it? I knew it. I was, I was about to say, watch the game just drop you in nonchalantly. Uh. Okay. <laughs> now what? Okay. There we go. <gasps> it is as she stated. A reason has been conceived at long last. We need not worry. Lady Chiaki is on the move. Our god of Yosuga will soon descend upon us at Asakusa. Oh yeah, they are the Archiaki's peeps. Then let us make haste. There are plenty of vermin remaining who have yet to receive our judgment. <laughs> so what? You float all the way here, then when you find it, you just teleport. Why don't you just teleport here in the first place? Okay. So, Asakusa. Th that's our flag. Alright, so I'm just gonna go save, but let's leave it there for now. So... If you want to see what's going on in Asakusa and Chiaki, maybe leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.